Hi guys, it's your girl, the really salty, and I am back, y'all. I finally made it back. Uh, I know I've been missing for about two weeks, y'all, but you know, uh, life is just busy sometimes. But I found some time to come on here today. I found some time to come on here today to let you all know that these narcissistic dogs, they are from below. All right. Yes, they are from below. And the people of God, your empaths, your God-fearing people, we are from above, just like our father. The Bible tells us in John 8, verses 23 to 24, listen to this. You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be. You will indeed die in your sins. And this is in John 8, verses 23 to 24, y'all. And this is what I wanted to bring to you guys' attention. These dogs are from below, okay? So you can save your breath, save your time, effort, and energy, y'all. This year going forward, don't keep on trying to change these dogs because they are from below. They love sin. That's why they practice sin, you know, and they like when you waste your time, your effort on them, you know, trying to get them to change, trying to get them to come to Jesus, you know, but they have no intentions, none whatsoever on changing. But they like when they run into people like you that's willing to put in that time, you know, willing to waste your time and resources on them, you know, and they drop their little breadcrumbs, you know, give you false hope, you know, and thinking that they're going to change when in their heart they know they're not even capable, okay? These people are from below, just like their daddy, all right? The devil. Versus and, you know, also with this same scripture, John 8, um, verses 23 to 24, Jesus was talking to the Pharisees, okay? He was talking to them. But what I want you to understand is these are your narcissists. It don't get no more narcissistic than these Pharisees in this Bible. These are the narcissists. And he's letting them know that they are going to die in their sins, all right? You know why they're going to die in their sins? Because he is not, they don't believe in him. Let me put it to you this way. You know, they said, you know the uh, scripture in the Bible about God so loved the world that he gave his own only begotten son, okay, for us. He died for our sins, but not for theirs. That's why he told them they're going to die in their sins because he is not dying for their sins. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't recognize their need for a savior. And you know, God give each and every one of us a time to repent. He gives us time to repent, y'all. I'm telling you, even the narcissist, even the narcissist, he gives them time uh, to repent. But they won't. You know why? Because they don't want their evil deeds to be exposed. They like their sin, y'all. They really do. They love their witchcraft. They love the control, the manipulation games that they play. You know, using and abusing other people for selfish gain. They love it, you know. They love uh, this lascivious lifestyle, you know. Horn their backs out every chance that they get. When I tell you they love it, they love it. All right? I'm just telling you. But 
Listen to this also. Lord uses people also to, he sends, his, he sends us out, y'all. If you are a disciple of Christ, the Lord send you out to, to help save souls, okay? To bring people to Christ, okay? And listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. You got to catch this one. Listen. And this is Luke 10 and 16. Listen to this. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. But whoever rejects me, rejects him that sent me. Okay? So when these jokers don't listen to you, don't take heed of your advice. Don't take heed of when you come to warn them, you come in to try to bring salvation to them, to help save their soul. Y'all, when they don't listen, they're not rejecting you. They are rejecting Christ. They're rejecting the living God. Okay? That's what you have to understand. So don't feel bad. You know, when people reject you, they're not rejecting you. You know? Because we're not coming to them on our own accord, okay? We're not coming to them on our own accord. Because sometimes that's all they see. They just see you, you know? They don't look deeper. All they see is you, you know? They don't see beyond this flesh sometimes. Especially when you go come into somebody that's familiar with you, like family and so-called friends and stuff like that, they just see you, the person. It's like they don't, they're not listening to the words coming out of your mouth. They're not thinking like, wow, I want, you know, they just see you. So sometimes they just reject your message because they're too busy looking at the messenger instead of the one who sent you. We're coming because we are sent we are sent to help people, to help bring souls to Christ. You know, that's what a disciple does. You know, and y'all, let me tell you, I have to, I want to share this with y'all. And this is, you know, it's just sad. It's very unfortunate. You know, and uh, I was ministering to this witch. This was a witch, y'all. And uh, she knew. You know, she knew, you know, uh, a lot about spiritual things. She knew, she knew Christ. You know, when I say no, I don't mean like uh, following Christ. But she sat there and repeated to me that she knew that I had been sent to come and help her. She said this to me, y'all. She knew I had been sent to come and help her. And she knew that I did not come on my own accord. But you know what? She still rejected Christ. She still rejected it. You know? Because she's she loved her witchcraft. Can't do without that witchcraft. Love it. But let me tell you, when they reject him, guess what? They going, he's going to reject them. And that's why we take that back to the scripture we just read. They're going to die in their sins. They're going to die in their sins, y'all. You know? And, you know, uh, a lot of times, like I said, it's very unfortunate uh, when these are relatives, loved ones, you know, people that you sincerely care about. But you know what? We can't force them <laughs> to change. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just a messenger, you know? We just a messenger. But I said all that to say this, y'all, too. These jokers are really from below, you know. And this new year coming in, stop wasting time, effort, and energy on these jokers because they refuse to repent and change they, from their evil ways, y'all. Do you understand that it's some people that are just wicked? Y'all, and it's a huge difference between a sinner and somebody who's just wicked. It's a huge difference, y'all. I'm just telling you. And a lot of these jokers, 
that refuse to repent, the narcissists, these are your wicked people. They're just wicked. Okay. So don't 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 uh go into this new year wasting your time, honey. Shift shift all that energy towards something productive or to someone else that is going to listen and take heed uh when you come to them with the word of God. You know what I'm saying? When you come to them spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know. But that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.